so I thought I would do a response to this um, popular YouTuber's video, Taylor Nicole Dean. She asks the question, why are these for sale? And the title of the video is called Buying Exotic Animals Online, Weird Pet Trade Website. So why are these for sale? And there's question marks on her forehead and there's a zebra pictured and a lemur. Let's click on the video. So the description says, why are you people selling these as pets? I found this website that is basically or literally the Craigslist of the exotic animal trade. If you're looking for a pet monkey, look no further. Just stop looking, stop looking right now and spend that cash or whatever to get you institutionalized at your nearest psychiatric ward. Hmm, that's very interesting. So if you want a pet monkey or basically I'm guessing this applies to anyone else who keeps exotic animals, so that obviously will apply to me. So I'm being told that I should be institutionalized because I have a Janet and the KVs or whatever. So that's just a pretty interesting stance for particularly this person to take. And then she goes on to say, don't get your panties in a twist though. I just hate when sensitive species are sold around online because it just opens up access for anyone to own them. I'm sure there are people who can take wonderful care of all the animals on this site, but like I said, I feel like there's a line between what we should be able to own and what we should keep out of our homes generally. So I took particular interest to her saying sensitive species. Why don't we talk about what a sensitive species really is? First of all, she seems to have a very popular animal named Cheese, and it is a cowfish. I absolutely love cowfish. I think I love boxfish of all kinds, and I've I always have, but I never got one because, for one thing, they get they get absolutely huge, like 16 inches or something like that. Although in captivity fish tend to, marine fish tend to stay a lot smaller, unfortunately. But anyway, I used to be into marine fish, was into the very difficult to keep sessile invertebrates. I consider fish to be kind of the more easier things to keep, although um, box fish are not so easy to keep because of their size and um, some, they, they often tend to pick at certain invertebrates in the, <clears throat> in the aquarium and things like that. But yeah, it's mainly their size. I, I believe she's going to place hers into like an 100-ish gallon tank, like 150 gallon or something like that. But, um, and, and some people in the, there's a lot of disagreement in the aquarium trade about what tank sizes they should be kept in. I definitely think that a lot of times they're under, they understate how large the tank size should be. And it really is very telling that the fish tend to not grow as large because I would say that they are pretty hard to keep because number one, the first thing about marine fish is that they rarely, if ever, reach their full potential lifespan. It's really interesting to me that somebody would call my animals a sensitive species when she has seahorses and various reptiles. Oh, and let's get something else straight off the bat. Cowfish are taken from the wild. That is probably one of the biggest criticisms that exotic pet keepers face and yet my animals are not taken from the wild all of my animals were bred in captivity their parents maybe they were taken from the wild but they were all born in captivity and I would never want to purchase a wild animal because they don't adapt as well basically um, the way you do it is if you do take an animal from the wild you give that animal a very spacious enclosure and kind of treat that animal like a zoo animal in order to get 
get it to reproduce properly and things like that. Taking mammals from the wild is not something, um, selling animals that come from the wild is not something that is traditionally done often. It's not really recommended, except if you're very experienced and you have a very large cage and you keep them in a very kind of professional type zoo setting, um, private zoo setting, whatever. But fish, marine fish on the other hand, most of them are taken from the wild, and most people go crazy when they hear that an animal is taken from the wild just so someone can keep it as a pet. There's a lot of controversy, and I have different opinions about that, and I'm not totally against taking animals from the wild, unlike a lot of people, but I have a lot of stringent conditions for how it's, how it's to be done. Probably marine fish don't meet my, my standards. Cowfish, and I wonder if she's ever stated this, I don't really normally watch her videos, but a lot of fish are killed in the process of, of being transported to your home aquarium. So, so it's just so funny how I need to be institutionalized for wanting an exotic pet, but your pet is perfectly okay because it is somewhat of a conventional pet. Simply because a pet is conventional, all of a sudden it becomes a lot more acceptable within our society to keep that type of animal. So I don't really understand why I'm supposed to be the crazy one, and yet your animal is taken from the wild. I wonder if she's ever mentioned to her followers that so many of these fish die prematurely. I would go as far as to say as 99% of them do. And... It's likely hers probably will as well. I'm not saying that to be really that critical. I'm just saying, I'm just stating a fact, essentially. These are the facts facing the marine trade. The marine trade is pretty rough and kind of difficult to defend at this point. And I think I'm pretty good at creating arguments to defend the exotic pet trade. And if somebody came at me with some of of some of the um, typical criticisms leveled at the marine trade, I would actually have a hard time defending it. You know, I used to be into it. I used to um, lurk in the forums and all that, and there would always be so much debate about what tank sizes fish should be kept in and all and things like that. And I eventually got out of the marine trade because it could be pretty overwhelming. It consumes your money like crazy. The animals I was interested in particularly were just pretty hard to care for. Eventually my, my tank suffered a disaster due to a sea cucumber dying. Everything in the tank, it was just a nano tank, it was just a 10 gallon. But anyway, I eventually just got out of it and I was so relieved to get out of it because it's true there is a lot of death when it comes to marine tanks. And that's just very common. You can just go online and look up people's experiences with cowfish and you will see that it's very common for them to live about a year. And I'm fairly certain they can live at least 10 years, maybe 20 years. I don't know. I would have to go look it up. But I think that would definitely qualify as a sensitive species. But it's a fish. So a fish is something everyone accepts. You know, because goldfish are so popular in our culture, fish in general have kind of become, even even weird fish like a cowfish, they're more conventional pets. So you can get away with keeping those without everyone leveling all this heavy criticism at you like I get for keeping a spotted genet. Because a spotted genet is weird. And I even get criticism for keeping a toucan just because a toucan is a little more weird than a parrot. A parrot just as complicated, probably way more complicated to care for, you'll get a whole lot less criticism because a parrot is a conventional pet. But everyone accepts that. Everyone accepts parrots. They accept fish. Um, Taylor Nicole Dean has seahorses. I believe even in one of her videos, she said that they are a sensitive species as well. So does she need to be institutionalized for wanting a seahorse? Why do you need a seahorse? Um, maybe you should get another pet that isn't so prone. And some seahorses are, are captive bred. I had considered getting seahorses in the past as well. But most of those aren't either. And definitely not cowfish. In fact, the majority of marine fish and even a lot of reptiles, which are also a lot more commonly accepted than my porcupine and my spotted Jeanette, they are are not as questioned as my animals. So 
I just don't really understand, or maybe I do, but I just don't really want to understand why do people have this mentality something is not commonly kept, so all of a sudden the person who owns it has to be some kind of nut job or something institutionalized, she says. Um, that's kind of a very heavy criticism, and especially for someone who has plenty of exotic animals, they just happen not to be of the mammalian persuasion, keeping reptiles in uh, little boxes, things like that. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying this is the perception that a lot of animal rights activists have about it, but because it's more conventional, it's more accepted by the majority, and my animals are not, because no one, you know, very few people have genets. Yes, I'm aware of that. Very few people have porcupines, and even a whole hell of a lot less people have spring hoss, but it doesn't matter, because whether or not my animal is conventional doesn't mean that I'm crazy or that there is something wrong with keeping it. It just depends on whether or not you can provide for the animal properly. And so she does say that sure, there are some people who could do it, but I mean, she treats it like it's some kind of bizarre, horrible thing. And, you know, she's obviously talking about exotic animals for sale.net, and I absolutely love that website. And it should exist and it should be available. Why are you people selling these as pets? My answer is because people want them as pets, just like people want your seahorses, just like people want your cowfish. And I'm sure because of your videos, more people are seeking to get cowfish. And I'm sure all of them, I'm, I'm gonna say it right now, all of them will probably die prematurely. I'm not even gonna say 99%. I can just guarantee that all the people rushing out to get a cowfish because of the cutesy videos they saw on YouTube, this is just reality. Um, this is the reality, and I accept it. Life isn't perfect, and the pet trade's not perfect, but let's just say the marine trade is a hell of a lot less perfect. And I guess people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. This is a shining example of that.